Here's me running normally, and here's me running with a robotic exosuit. If you look closely, you can see how it's making my knees lift higher and my posture more upright. So what is this thing? Well, you know that feeling of running downhill, where you're not fully in control of your own speed, but you feel like you could run forever? That's the idea behind this wearable robot. It basically forces you to move your legs faster by learning from your natural movements and correcting them. Some questions. How does it work? Why does it exist? How much faster can I get? Is it easy to use? And will wearing this make me superhuman? I'm not much of an athlete. You'll usually find me here, here, or here. I'm Amit Katwala. I'm a writer and editor for Wired, and I've always been fascinated by technology and how it can enhance human performance. I even wrote a book about the overlap between neuroscience and sport. When I heard about an exosuit that can make people run faster, I knew I needed to try it. But first, I needed to get a baseline of my own unassisted performance. I asked Adam Jamili, an Olympic sprint coach and Team GB Olympian, to give me some brutal feedback on my current technique. Let's have a look. Yeah, so obviously, first of all, your hip flexors are very tight. You can see that. You can barely get your knee. There's no knee lift there. The improvements for me, I'd say bringing your thighs up a little bit higher. You need to start pumping your arms. You're losing a lot of power there. Your arms should be sort of at 90 degrees and, and you should be able to swing them back mm. to really generate that power and get off the track a lot quicker and stay in the air a lot longer and, and move a lot faster. So I think I think with the arms, I think what I was doing was just trying to mimic what I've seen. <laughs> you know what I mean? With no real sort Absolutely. of like... Or oh, sprinters, when they sprint, they run that, they move their arms like this. So that's what I was doing. It needs to be at that 90, it needs to be at that 90 degrees. It needs to come up to eye level. And also when you, when you go backwards, look at that sort of stopping at the side of your body, you can see it's not really coming up. The hand is sort of like level with the hip and it should, it be, it should be past the hip at 90 degrees. And that will influence what your lower legs do as well. But not a bad run at all, to be honest with you. Not a bad baseline and uh, pretty naturally athletic, even if maybe you've not sprinted before. It's, it's a really nice running technique and a really nice running style. So no, good job. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Thanks. I don't think anyone's ever called me naturally athletic before, so I don't feel... I, feel okay, then. <laughs> I showed Adam footage of the suit in action. It's quite an interesting idea, this thing. It's almost like overspeed training, and it's pushing your body to a place that it might not necessarily naturally get to. But once your body's been somewhere, it will find a way to get there again. I'd expect with this exosuit for you to take at least a second off that 100 meters. Now, a second might not seem like a lot, but at an elite level where tenths of seconds matter, a one second increase is incredibly significant. Before I could test the suit on the track, I needed to try the robot in the Herotics lab in Seoul, South Korea. There we can get a baseline for my performance and the robot can learn from my technique. So here I am at the lab where I'm going to learn about how the suit works. So they're attaching motion capture dots to me that the cameras around the room are gonna pick up so that they can analyze my running style. I feel like I'm in a video game. It's quite cool. This is the same technology that they use for motion capture on sports games and things like that. On the computer over there, they're going to be able to use these dots and these cameras to map my gait both with and without the suit and compare how my running style changes when I'm running in the suit and when I'm running without the suit. So we are just going to start motion capturing your analysis running posture. Yep, so I need to pump my arms. Remember to pump my arms. Yeah, this is pretty quick, <laughs> by my standards. Okay. Oof. Now that we have my natural running gait captured, it's time to get into the suit. Cool, so I feel quite sort of uh, trussed up, <laughs> like packaged in, so it's quite tight around my thighs and like around here. You know when you, when you tighten the straps on a backpack and it kind of goes like up like that, that's what it feels like. You know, just like I'm kind of wearing an item of clothing, really. Crucial part of this robot, one is this motor, and two is the AI motor inside of here. This is the brain of the human. This is the muscle of the mm. human. This brain analyzes the real running posture by measuring your running data. This is the cable which pull your leg uh -huh. higher. And it also has a sensor measuring your pulling force in the real time. This motion sensor measuring your running posture and your digital running balance, everything. Okay, I'm suited up and ready to try this again. So, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's quite loud. It sounds like there's a hairdryer. I feel like a piece of meat wrapped in string. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I can feel the suit kind of puffing away. I don't think it's quite synced up with me yet, but I okay, here we go. So now it's syncing up with me. It feels like it's kind of 
pushing my legs forward a bit more as I'm running. You can see my knees going up more than they would have done normally. It's adapting dynamically to what I'm doing. But I feel quite stable actually after that. I was worried I was going to be sort of out of control and I'm still a little bit out of breath, but it felt a bit like running downhill or you're not quite fully in control of your own speed but you've got a bit of assistance. You kind of feel your legs almost moving faster than the rest of your body. That's what it felt like a little bit. We're about to go up to five meters per second, so 20% faster. Okay, here we go. Right. Okay, the treadmill's kicked in and the suit is kicking in as well. And there it goes. That's the suit really clicking with the gear. It just got even faster and tighter. And now it's really helping me out. It's like synced up with my running style. And I'm gonna try and pump my arm a bit more to keep up with this, but... <laughs> yeah, it feels pretty good, actually. <laughs> but it's still not that easy. <sighs> I feel alright, actually. I'm, I don't feel nearly as out of breath as I did last time I did it without the suit. But let's look at the data and see how we get on. Is that my sure. skeleton? Yeah, it's your skeleton. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What values are you able to see with this software? Hair flexion angle, uh -huh. angle velocity, uh, hip joint power, hip joint moment, and ground duration force. So first I'll show you the hip flexion angles. Yeah. The red solid line is yeah. without the suit, uh -huh. and blue solid line is with the suit. Wow, so you can really see a big improvement there. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. So that's almost a 10 degree yeah, it's right. Is that quite big? Yeah, it's really big. So this is without the suit. So it's right. You can see my knees are getting up okay, but your pelvic just lean. Oh yeah, so my yeah. pelvis is leaning forward like that. You can That's see right. it on the skeleton. So then switch to the with the suit. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, and you can see it's much straighter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's right. After you're wearing the suit, your just body just gets straight. Yeah. yeah. So then when I put my foot down, it's yeah. going more down straight right. down yeah. into the ground rather than kind of going backwards like That's that. Right. With the exosuit on, my posture improved. When I put my feet down while wearing the suit, they went straight into the ground, so my next stride had more power. Wearing the exosuit improved my gait cycle time by almost 40%. So I'm taking fewer steps for longer. Yeah, that's, right. that's a massive difference. Now, armed with the HFIT exosuit and my expert guidance from Adam, I went out to the Seoul National University track to try it out. So I'm about to run 100 metres on the athletics track without the suit. Jinyoung is going to be timing me using uh, this timing pad and then these split timers all the way down to the end of the track. And they're going to use that to help analyse my performance. So I've just finished my 100 meters without the suit and now I'm here with Kyung Soo who's a Korean national sprinter and Jun who's a professor of sports engineering and part of the team that built the seat. So Kyung Soo, what did you make of my running technique? It's quite freezing today. Yeah. You should flex your hip further but uh, it looks like that. Are you more dependent on, on your ankles mm. instead of here? And what about my arms? Were, those, were my arms okay? So it looks like you're dependent too much on your hands mm. and your hands look like very stiff. Mm. Mm. So, I mean, he recommended to just relax your hands further. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm doing this. And I should be doing this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. More bad. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can this suit shave a second or more off my 100 meter time? We're about to find out. And can it do it when it's minus 10 and blizzarding? You can see the snow. It's very beautiful. It's like a Christmas card, but I have to run as fast as I can in this weather. So we'll see how that goes. That felt really good. That felt a lot quicker. Yeah, I feel like I really, 
hopefully save some time off. Yeah, definitely helped me out, especially in the middle section. I could really feel it like pumping with me. It got a bit out of sync at times, but overall I think it really, really helped. What did you guys think? Yeah. Did it look good? You got 15.7. 15.7, so yeah. I shaved yeah. half a second off my time. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing, yeah. that's so good. Again, half a second might not seem like a lot, until you remember that it was half a second faster than my previous best, despite the sub-zero weather and having spent all day running on the treadmill. I'm also wearing additional layers, so even matching my speed would have been an achievement. But with the suit on, I beat it. Oh. As Adam said, maybe I'm more of an actual athlete than I thought. Or maybe it's just the suit.